वन डे आई सॉ दिस एनिमेशन ऑन पिंटरेस्ट क्रिएटेड बाई बिहानस एंड देन आई डिसाइडेड टू क्रिएट इट ऑन अवर चैनल थिंग साई फाई विच इज वेरी इजी एंड सिंपल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिलीट द पॉइंट लाइट सेलेक्ट द क्यूब एंड गो टू जोमेट्री नोड क्लिक न्यू एंड रिमूव ग्रुप इनपुट एड अ आइक्वेस्फेयर बाई प्रेसिंग शिफ्ट ए इंक्रीज इट्स सब डिविजन द सर्फेस ऑफ स्फेयर आर स्टिल रफ टू मेक इट स्मूथ एड अ सेट सेड स्मूथ इन बिटवीन स्फेयर पार्ट हैज बिन डन नाउ इट्स टाइम टू एड अ रिंग For that, connect join geometry first, then curve circle and connect it with join geometry. Nothing is visible, so increase the radius. To add geometry to the ring, we have to connect curve to mesh node, then quadrilateral to the curve to mesh node. Reduce the quadrilateral values. The surface of the ring are more flat but we want to make it more smoother and curve curvy so for that first increase the radius of curve circle then then add a curve called fillet curve select poly on it then increase the count and reduce the radius you can anytime play with these these values to change your ring style now we will apply two different material on the sphere and the ring for that add a set material after set set smooth and curve to mesh now go to the material property and rename the material as sphere and select the same name in the first set set material then click the plus icon then new to add a one more material rename it as ring and select the same material in the second set material we will play with the materials in setting tab but first we will animate the ring for that add a transform node in between curve to mesh and set material now when you play with the rotation value you can see that the ring is moving around the sphere so before adding any value to the rotation add a timeline by dragging it from the bottom go to frame 0 on the timeline then enter keyframe in the rotation then go to the last frame of the timeline and enter 180 on the x 180 on the y and minus 180 on the z rotation then again enter keyframe now see your animation is ready suppose you want to add one more ring to the around the sphere for that the simplest method is select the transform node and make a duplicate of it by pressing shift d make one more duplicate of join geometry and connect it between transform and set material now connect the second transform node with join geometry and curve to mesh and when you play with the value of rotation in the second transform node you can see there is two rings we have to add keyframe to the second transform node as we add to the first one so go to the frame 0 on the timeline then enter keyframe in the rotation then go to the last frame enter minus 180 in the x value 180 in the y and 180 in the z value then again enter keyframe we have just changed the minus value in the first transform node we add the minus in the z and in the second transform node we add the minus in the x and see the effect similarly you can add as many as rings you want and if you did not want the second ring just unplug it from join geometry now go to the setting tab here the materials are in two slot slot 1 for sphere and slot 2 for rings select select slot 1 first we apply changes in sphere material before that go to the render view and make the world completely black increase the metallic around 0.5 material for the sphere has been done now go to slot 2 for ring here we will add four node first hue saturation value second color wrap third gradient texture
connect hue saturation value to the emission of principal bsdf then connect color wrap to the hue saturation color click the plus icon in the color wrap to add one more point select the first point click the black color move it toward the white select rgb and decrease the green and blue value select the middle point go to the color decrease the r and blue color and increase the green color select the last point go to the color decrease the red and green color the ring is showing only green color to make it colorful connect the gradient texture to the color wrap select b spline in color wrap connect math node to the hue of hue and saturation decrease the factor value to 0.9 increase the second value of math node to around 1.1 then add a timeline here also go to frame 0 on the timeline then enter keyframe in first value of math node then go to the last frame in the timeline enter 3.3 .3 in the value and again enter keyframe now you can see the color changing effect also if you want to render it in EV turn on all the four options then go to color management and select high contrast in look but according to my experiment it will look best in cycles go to the cycles select gpu select 10 in viewport maximum sampling and 100 in render maximum sampling see it is looking good in cycles if you are not sure do a render image to see whether it is actually looking good or not apply motion blur little bit and for render and for render go to render property select your file location and name here and if you are and if you want to render it as a png sequence just go to render render animation and for video select your name and location in file format select ffmpeg in encoding container select mpeg4 and quality output high quality or perfect lossless then render render animation but i will prefer to render it as a png sequence